what's happening guys feast your eyes on what is probably in my opinion definitely the nicest honda cb 550 cafe racer ever built this is a no expense spared frame off full-on custom over 250 hours of handcrafting craftsmanship has been done to this bike and it's been tuned to perfection by the best in the business lots of custom craftsmanship including the honda cbr 600 upside down front end it handles like a dream it sounds like a f1 daytona winning superbike it's just absolutely incredible it handles like a dream and it definitely makes a statement no doubt about it from the kian cr bank of four carburetors with the custom custom built intake with the huge air filters yoshimura style four into one exhaust this is originally constructed by AS Customs and finished by Jeff Castine at All Sport Cycle and tuned to perfection and dyno tuned. I have the dyno report for this thing. This put down 15 horsepower more than stock. Hold the, mic real quick. the engine is completely rebuilt. It's got high compression pistons into it and uh, all new spark plugs, full electronic ignition, painted rims with the top of the line disc brake on the front. What's happening, brother? brother? How you doing? Good, how are you? Not too shabby. Nice. What's new? Nothing. What do you think, huh? Nice. That thing's nasty, huh? <laughs> it's got a brand new gold chain on there, chain of sprockets, tires, brakes are all brand new. A lot of craftsmanship underneath the seat where the frame has been handcrafted uh, to house the rear hoop for the cafe style seat it's got led lights in the rear all custom lights custom fairing just an incredible piece but the best part is you got to hear this thing run it sounds absolutely insane let me do a drive-by there you go is it my cop is this on Yeah, right. That sounds sweet. It's got the uh, the CR Special 28 mil. Uh, uh, those are Kians. They're nasty. Yeah, so it's got the full, full intake and exhaust setup. The four into one thing. Nasty. It's a stingray, man. It's a stingray. Yeah. It sounds great, looks great, and moves. Yeah, man. Put me in. I'll take one. <laughs> hey, same here.
in the parking lot here. It looks like through the chop here, the bike's faring well. Performance and perfection, that's what you're looking at. Cosmetic perfection and mechanical perfection. It doesn't get better than this. You're not gonna build one better than this. If you're looking for the baddest ass 70s cafe racer available for sale today on eBay or anywhere on YouTube, buy this bike. I've never I've never ridden a 5 speed that runs this good, man. It is absolutely incredible. The ignition is on point. It's got a brand new wiring harness. Stunning machine. Want to bring it inside? How does it sound? I really love this bike. It sounds like dynamite. And yeah. guys, it's, it's a real bike for guys. Tough guys, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I didn't want to stop riding this thing, okay? It's just so much fun to ride, and that's what this is all about. Absolutely proof dreams can come true. This motorcycle right here was started by a good friend of Kenny's who never finished it. We bought it in and finished the bike with help from Jeff Castine and it was polished to perfection by the crew here at the staff. Um, absolutely a 250 hour handcrafted masterpiece from parts that took months to accumulate. Uh, World-class paint job, custom graphics designed by Christy Steiger, my girlfriend, the Honda CR559. And this is a bike, you can go to Daytona, pull it down Main Street, it's gonna be the only one of its kind. Absolutely stunning. I love the tires that are on it. These tires are an on off-road style tread. Uh, like they made popular on the new Harleys. You could take this thing down the beach at Daytona if you wanted to. It's just a stunning piece. Let me grab the paperwork on it here. Here it is. So, as far as um, componentry that, on the bike, obviously the, the whole front end, triple clamps, the uh, clip-on handlebars, the master cylinder, the uh, Racewell Industries tachometer and electronic package, the, the clutch, the throttle cable, the, the, the braided stainless front brake line hooked to the twin piston Nissan caliper. Um, the, the braking power is superb. The handling is off the hook. I've never ridden a 70s vintage uh, bike that ran this good, and that's in part, large part due to the super rigid front end and the gas charge shocks on the rear end. The, um, the bike just bristles with trickery everywhere. Just a stunning piece. The uh, bike was stripped right down to the frame, obviously, and the frame was handcrafted into what you see now. The whole rear uh, piece here is all handcrafted. It has a, um, I'll have to pull the seat off to show you, but it has a nice little storage tray up top here. It has a brand new uh, wiring harness, uh, OEM Honda style wiring harness, brand new handlebar switches, uh, all new throttle cables, uh, a new throttle pipe assembly. The headlight brackets, take a look at those, Junior. Those are CNC machined. Uh, hand, uh, CNC machine from Australia, the headlight brackets, has a brand new Yuasa uh, YX7 battery. It's a $110 battery. 
uh, new Honda ignition switch, new, new fuse block, new front aluminum turn signals, new electrical connectors, new hose and breather filter for the crankcase, brand new grips, brand new horn, brand, in, brand new K&N filters on the uh, brand new CRK and carburetors, uh, LED license plate kit, uh, all kinds of new, hard, all the hardware is new, brand new resistor for the taillight, uh, brand new front and rear brake taillight switches, has a new joker mirror. Zoom in on the back side of that mirror, Kenny, and get up close and personal with this everywhere. Show them the uh, wiring block and the oil, SNS oil filter underneath the seat. Show them the, um, the gauge package. Get real close and personal on it so they can see that the quality of the craftsmanship is second to none. This is a show quality, show winning bike right here. Um, the uh, front brake rotor is a, is a Honda item. The um, exhaust is a Yoshimura style four and a one that makes the most beautiful music I've ever heard. It's made by a company called Carpe's Cafe Racer. They're a cafe racer specific company. We went on their website and looked at all their customs. There's nothing on there that, and this doesn't come from me, this comes from Jeff Cassidy and All Sports Cycling, because there's nothing on their site as nice as this. Just to give you an idea of the cost of the components, the carburetor kit alone with the uh, billet blocks in the air cleaner assembly is close to 1,750 bucks. It's a $500 exhaust, there's $2,200 in exhaust and carburetors alone, just two components. The, um, the bike has brand new handlebars, brand new tires, brand new exhaust, brand new carbs, brand new paint, brand new fairing, new, new custom seat, uh, custom painted, all new brakes. The engine's been completely rebuilt from the bottom end up and painted professionally. So uh, on the dyno, this bad boy put down 47 rear wheel horsepower. Just to put that into, pers into perspective, a stock CB on Jeff's dyno was pu uh, pulse 30 to 32. Every dyno is different. This has 15 horsepower or more. That's a 50% increase over, um, over stock. Uh, we've got the previous registration, so it'll be nice and easy for you to register it. And um, it's just a stunning piece. The uh, total labor hours, uh, approximately 250 hours, and that's a conservative estimate. And again, if you paid a shop to do that at 90 bucks an hour, you're looking at $20,000 in labor and six, over $6,000 in parts plus the cost of the bike. You could easily drop $30,000 on a custom like this. Uh, the reserve, obviously, uh, the, the reserve and the buy it now are, are much lower than that, but the bike speaks for itself. I could go on and on on it, but uh, Junior, can you please get some close-ups underneath the seat showing all of the uh, componentry and custom fabric, uh, fabrication and the uh, oil cooler. Um, hey, I was riding it, and it's always different hearing a bike go down the road than it is seeing it. What are your, what are your thoughts on this, on this masterpiece here? Well, it doesn't sound like a 550, and that being said, uh, oh, guys, we, we test ride bikes all the time with four and ones with the baffles pulled out, and they're just deafening. Uh, that's not this bike. It is absolute music, but you can stand behind it and not feel like your eardrums are bleeding or that uh, you're going to be deaf um, after one session with it. So loud but not obnoxious and just absolute music. This is a well-tuned just I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this for a middleweight. Look at the hardware. Uh, everything's custom painted. Uh, the backing plate, Hold the uh, the brake, the brake. Um, everything's like hand. Every single nut and bolt on this bike is in polished, plated, chromed, or otherwise replaced with something new or better. It's just listen. I could go on and on all day. You, I think you get the idea. Uh, you will not find a better CB550 Cafe racer. And hey, listen, guys. Dreams can come true, but dreams can also become a nightmare. Many, many, many men, better than me, have attempted to build one like this, and years later, uh, don't complete it. It's a huge, if you're gonna do this yourself, if this inspires you to do it, just understand it's a labor of love. And when I said 250 hours, that's a conservative estimate, not even including the cost for the uh, body work and, and, and paint as far as hours wise, just a ridiculous amount of work. This one's done, and it is absolute, pure perfection that's about all i have to say i don't want to um keep rambling so i'll leave it at that if you have any questions about the bike give us a call 860-454-7024 did you see the led taillight in this thing kenny look at this the blinker the blinkers are built in do you see that how badass is that look at that look at how bright the leds are too and up in the front here take take a look at the Front, front turn signals, and look at the light, custom light. Just, 
just stunning piece. Again, if you have any questions, call us. Uh, the front end's fully adjustable for compression and uh, rebound, and it's a high-tech shower front end off a new, new, much newer Honda. So good luck bidding on this badass machine, and God bless Japan for making these kick-ass engines, and God bless America for taking it to the next level and building customs that are truly inspiring works of art. That's what this is, it's a work of art. We can ship this guy anywhere in the States inexpensively, overseas inexpensively. Message us your location or zip code for a quote. Thanks for watching thus far, guys. Good luck bidding and God bless America.